And through the power of your Spirit, we can overcome, we will overcome, we must overcome. There's not a one of us that are true Christians that are not feeling the pressure. The world is against us. The devil is against us. Our own flesh at times rises up and is adverse to us. The thing of overcoming is now. It's in this present state. It's in this present struggle. To follow on to know the Lord. To press in. To strive. Strive to enter in the narrow gate. Whatever it takes. Whatever it costs. Whatever I have to give up. Whatever has to be burned out of me. Whatever has to be chastened out of me. I want to be like Christ. Come on, Lord, do it to me. Bring me in. Save my soul. Purify my life. Bring me into the perfect image of your Son. And I'll be happy. I mean, the devil's after you. Towers and principalities you wrestle with. Resist it. I will not do that sin. I will not go that way. But the only faith that really is faith is the faith that overcomes. There are going to be people that let you down and offend you that you're going to have to get over and forgive and get over it. Know that the devil is serious and hell-bent on pulling you back down, pulling you away from the Lord. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Gird up, Paul said, the loins of your mind. Pull up your britches and get serious. Oh, the call is serious tonight, folks. It was that smug, middle-of-the-road attitude, that state of comfortable compromise between total devotion and total deadness, the halfway house, neither hot nor cold, not all out for sin, but not all out for God either. The overthrow of your devotion to Jesus Christ, the killing of your good works, the killing of your prayer life, bringing you out of fellowship with the saints, into closeness with the wrong crowd, out of their prayer life and away from the Word of God, out of the Spirit and into the flesh, out of the joy of the Lord and into stress and tribulation, away from hope into skepticism and despair. Get back to Him who is supreme. Get back to the real cause of everything. Get back to your joy. Get back to your salvation. God is for you. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me.